Okay. And hold on to me. Just this damn microphone. You know how this thing goes. I've been trying to get this damn. Let me do It's just not gonna work, bro. I don't. Thought it'd be a way for me to flip the damn. Don't want lock. Uh, so let's go to at the flying class. Level 11, level 2 lock. Level 1 lock. Revelio. What do you mean that? I thought I seen one of those keys. I just want to see one of those keys. Huh. Oh, dear, flew right here. Oh, that's three of these I got already. Revenue. Anyway, Revelion. Don't worry about that later. Why the hell does this dude run so weird? I never noticed that. Everybody grab a broom, Broomstick. and we shall get started. Attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, 
For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Wish Do I had my take own care. Broom. The brooms are school property. <laughs> I this want them brilliant. returned in one piece. Subtle enough. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I hope we get to have some battles on this thing. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Ha! Ah. ha. Good. I've got this. Made it. Oh, well done. Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high flying fun? You don't give a damn about no fun. Oh, we get in trouble. Fuck it, take a risk. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Oh, yeah, we get in trouble at Hogwarts. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Have you two been? What a damn business. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. 
You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. What she said. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Wish we hadn't gotten in trouble. I ain't got no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yo, we know what we're going to next. Taking care of uh, quests. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea. Prepare your studies. Accio. Revelio. Focus potion. Acquiring maximum endurance and use them both simultaneously. Um, we can do all these right away. I'm going to get that broom first.
Hogsmeade, here I come. There's a uh, spin watches here. My <laughs> advice when dealing with untoward matters is looking for a canut, aim for a canut. Ah, Revelio. Nice, wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. I need the sun. Item is of the highest quality. This room built for stability. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to... Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. Yep, we can do I'll it. See what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Finger house far. That's dope. Hold up. Ah, 
can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. I don't know if I don't know if this is for money or if I could just. This magic always gives magic offense, okay. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. so far. Talent points. One thing. Rebellion. Looking good right now. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I'll go back to the quest. And while I'm here, I think I can do a delivery. Yeah, let's do this one at a time so I'm not confused. Light test. What are you up to now? All right, where are we at? Why do we use the broom? Oh, the 
pick from there, okay. Hufflepuff. A mouth of rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Oh, sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me, Slytherin Quidditch captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Yeah, I'm Hufflepuff, motherfucker. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. It's a Slytherin slime. Let's Actually, go. why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. What the fuck going on? Made it. Brilliant. You won. Yeah, Hufflepuff Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. That you part. and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. 
Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albi Weeks. Well, this is a whole other one. Alright. Oh, I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Fuck all that. We just don't try to fast travel. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? So I had to look at my phone real quick. I question anyone. Oh, you're back with something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. Wait till it's got to How do you address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Wait till it's complete. 